You're making a Valentine's Day card for me, right? That was the deal. She makes me a card. I put her in the highlights. Number three, Cokeville at number one, Little Snake River. First quarter. Little Snake River wearing the white. Nothing doing inside, so Lady Rattlers will find Shelby McKee from about 16 feet away. She'll get the swish, and the Lady Rattlers are on the board first, leading two to nothing. The home team was on the move early. This is Lydia Skalberg taking the lob pass and finishing the fast break with a bucket. She'll get the whistle, but miss the extra try, but her team has a four-zip lead. Cokeville did not take long to answer. Morgan Weston wants the ball, and she'll score on the catch-and-shoot play. Now the Lady Panthers have their first points, trailing 4-2. to two. LSR was slithering their way to more points. Take this example by Keely Criswell. She took the long way around, but found an open lane and went right through it. The home team has the score doubled up at 8-4. to four. But the visitors' attack strategy was to pounce rather than slither. Tessa Tykert is hiding behind the referee. We saw her, and we also saw her fire up that three ball for Cokeville. 14 points for the junior, and her team still trails 11-9. The Lady Panthers only have two seniors on their roster, so the underclassmen had to pick up some of the slack, and they did not mind. Kaylee Moise is a sophomore. She led her team with 16, and the defending state champs took the lead 13-11 after the first eight minutes. Second quarter, Cokeville's leaders would step up. Hannah Dayton is one of those two seniors I told you about earlier. She makes her contribution, and her team still leads 15-13. They would press their advantage, and it worked for a while. Tiger's going to take care of this little matter herself and get the two points, as the visitors would eventually build a five-point lead, 20-15. But Little Snake River would strike back. Off the turnover, Morgan Willie is already at the other end of the court. Hoop, harm, and she'll eat a little floor while she's at it. The senior chipped in with 12, and the deficit's at 1, 20-19. At times, LSR was trying to score inside, but it wasn't always working, so eventually they decided to take it out. Taylor Kaisler drains a 15-footer. She scored 15 points for the Lady Rattlers, and we're tied up at 22 points each. The home team was undefeated coming into this game, and they were hoping to stay that way. Nice bounce pass to Willie, who will take care of the rest, although they would foul Cokeville on their Hail Mary try. The Lady Panthers would sink three free throws to make a 27-all going into the locker room. That's two liters of soda, kid, and you choked up on one sip. we got to work on this. Third quarter, Cokeville kept it close. Moist will miss the first try, but she'll get her own rebound, and the second chance paid off nicely for the Lady Panther. Her team goes back up 30-28. to 28. But then the Lady Rattlers would get to work. McKee is also hiding behind the ref. You're going to have to do better than that in order to fool the camera. Home team leads 31 to 30. Then they would go to the long range attack. McKee knows where the line is and she did not cross it. That's how you blow up a three bomb. LSR up 35-30. Basketball may be a teen sport, but sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. Willie will drive for another deuce. Her team is enjoying their biggest lead so far at 37-30. The Lady Panthers needed to react and swing the momentum the other way. Tiger would lead the charge and show everyone how it's done. Visitors still trail 37-32. But that did not seem to bother Little Snake River. Natalie Duncan slips in from behind. Her teammates saw her and the opposition did not. That made the score 39-32. It's about time we got a little defense and transition in here. McKee comes up with the loose ball off of the deflection. She'll dish the assist to Willie who will get the finish on the fast break. And Liddy Rattlers were in decent shape up 43-37 going into the final eight minutes. Fourth quarter, LSR was going for the kill. Criswell eyes it, spies it, and buys it for three. Things are looking promising with a 47 to 39 advantage. Here comes Moore. Willie's gonna go right through the traffic. Hey, that's what you gotta do sometimes to get two points. The Lady Rattlers have a 10 point cushion up 51 to 41. As for Cokeville, they kept trying to hang around. Dayton will hit the bullseye with this three ball, but time was starting to become a factor with the score at 51 to 44. But the home team would keep them out of striking distance. Skalberg will put in another two of her 11 as Little Snake River would keep their perfect record intact, winning this game 58 to 48.